Alright, here's a project that I've been working on. I call it the Recorder Car. It's a remote controlled car over Bluetooth that's able to remember the path and then you can play it back. Um, so, right now it's partly assembled. The only thing I'm missing is uh, the wheels that attach to this both stepper motors. And I'm also missing uh, a chip that will be soldered on right here, and that's going to be the memory, which is called FRAM memory. Oh, and I'm also missing uh, a 3.3 volt regulator right there. But right now, uh, I pretty much just got it assembled, and uh, I got the power supply right here, which is has a 7.2 volt battery hooked up and it goes through a 5 volt regulator which powers the Stellaris launch pad this guy right here and the 3.3 volt regulator will go here and that's going to power the memory and also the Bluetooth device right here which is an HC05 Bluetooth module um, so on the bottom board, I just have pretty much I have some jumper wires coming from the microcontroller going to the bottom to control uh, those two chips in there, which drive both stepper motors. Those are called L293D, and they're H bridge chips. Um, I actually have two separate batteries. This one is an 11.1 volt LiPo, and that gives power to the stepper motors. And then this is a 7.2 volt one that just powers all the control circuitry. So it's usually good to have a separate power supply for your motors whenever it comes to embedded electronics because motors give off a lot of noise, and that's not good for when you have sensitive stuff like a microcontroller. So it's good to keep it separate. Um, uh, yeah. So pretty much, I'm gonna show you the Bluetooth capabilities right now. I have an, a Bluetooth adapter in the USB right there for the desktop. And on the computer here, I have a terminal program that will connect to the Bluetooth on here. And then when I press any key on the keyboard, it'll move the stepper motors. And the stepper motors are going around three revolutions. Or four, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just pressing any key. And there we go.